Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda Paramashivam In this sacred manual of power manifestation, which serves as a scriptural authority containing the Shastra Pramanas, Eternal Unchangeable Truths, Apta Pramanas, Atma Pramanas, Sakshi Pramanas, and Prataksha Pramanas, we present to you the various powers of Paramashiva. By this, we place before humanity the supreme authenticity of the power manifestation science established by the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagat Guru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness Nityananda Paramashivam. Paramashiva has systematically revealed these powers in their purest forms as various techniques and revelations to experience pure oneness with Paramashiva. As a direct experience of oneness with Paramashiva, his shaktis powerfully manifest in an initiated being at different levels of human consciousness, physicality, physiology, psychology, and neurology permanently. We offer these power manifestation manuals to celebrate your experience of oneness with the Supreme Paramashiva. Nityanandam. Nityanandam. Nyanapatiti manual under the guidance of Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam. Let's start with the Sadguru Vandanam. Nityanandam Paramasukanam Kevalam Nyanamurtim Dvandvatitam Gagana Sadusham Tattamasya Dilakshyam Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshi Bhutam Bhavatitam Trigunarahitam Sadgurum Tam Namami Let's go through the disclaimers. Security measures. No photography, video, audio recording. Important cautions. Please be aware of the important cautions. What is power manifestation? Let's hear from Bhagwan himself explaining what is power manifestation. All the 25 states of consciousness, when they happen in you due to your chemicals and hormones, ups and downs, it is powerlessness. When it happens in you out of your free will and consciousness, it is powerfulness, that's all. When you fall into sleep, it is powerlessness. When you enter into sleep, it is powerfulness. When you fall into dream, it is powerlessness. When you decide to dream, it is powerfulness. So I have added the ultimate powerfulness Turiyatita Turiyatita in your whole being and doing manifest all the powers. Understand, power manifestation is nothing but cognitive shift. It is not work. It is cognitive shift. Understand? It is just cognitive shift. It's not work. Work is a four-letter word. <laughs> Power manifestation is cognitive shift. Playing with life. Playing with being alive. Static matter, dynamic activity, strategic existence, all these three has no boundary. You are one with it. You are alive in everything. Everything listens to you. Everything decides 
as you want. Power manifestation is cognitive shift, raising your frequency, not work. Now let's understand who is Paramashiva. Bhagwan himself has beautifully explained the Paramashiva in all of us. Paramashiva does manifestation, maintenance, rejuvenation, Pulling out of delusion and liberation. He resides in his supreme Paramashiva Swarupa as Ajomuha, Aradomuha, unborn. Beyond form, formlessness. His Paramashiva Swarupa. That Paramashiva Swarupa manifests with these five faces as Sadashiva, Tatpurusha, Vamadeva, Ahora, Satyojata, Ishana. Five faces he manifests and does the Panjakritya, Srishti. Manifestation, Stiti, Sustenance, Samhara, Rejuvenation, Trobhava, Pulling out of Delusion, Anugraha, Liberation. Understand, He does all these five jobs. Through these five faces, now listen carefully. Tatpurusham, Vamadevam, Satyojatam, Ahoram, Ishanam. These five faces, thus Panchakrityas, each face, each dimension, is not just one F A C E face, P H A S E face. It's not just F A C E, P H A S C. -E. Understand the creation, not just creation getting created, even sustenance need to be created. Destruction need to be created and pulling out of delusion need to be created. Liberation need to be created. Then create creation, manifestation need to be maintained. Maintenance, stiti itself need to be maintained. Destruction, samhara. The rejuvenation need to be sustained, maintained when it is happening. Pulling out of delusion, throbhava, need to be maintained when it is happening. And anugraha, liberation, Need to be maintained when it is happening. Those micro milliseconds when it is happening. So understand. Satyojata Murti as five face. Ishana Murti as five face. Vamadeva Murti as five face. Agora Murti as five face. Tatpurusha Murti as five face. So, Tatpurusha Murti has his five face. Agora Murti has his five face. Vamadeva Murti has his five face. Satyojada Murti has his five face. Ishana Murti has his five face. All these five Murtis, five five faces put together is twenty five faces of Mahasadashiva. Bhagavan beautifully explained Paramashiva 
now who is his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram let's hear from bhagwan himself supreme pontiff of hinduism jagatguru mahasanidhanam his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram is a reviver of kailasha the ancient enlightenment civilization the great cosmic borderless nation is an avatar from and is a supreme pontiff of hinduism his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram has made science of our manifestation yoga temple based university for humanity so which in order of kailasha led by his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram and nityananda order of monks nuns hindu diasporas are working for global peace to give super conscious breakthrough to humanity nityananda hindu university world's largest with extended campus in 150 countries is collecting organizing preserving time capsuling decoding spreading and reviving 20 million source books of hinduism and 64 sacred arts science like ayurveda music dance sculpting astrology vastu and many more his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram is 293rd guru vaha sanidhanam of shamala pita sarvanya pita ancient apex body of hinduism and present emperor of surya vamsa surangi swamrajyam his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram has survived the worst prosecution of multiple assassination attempts on person and character by anti hindu elements beautifully bhagwan now explains who's His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwaram. Everything is infinitely powerful. You realize your potentiality. You establish yourself in the completion, space of completion. You are God, that's all. All of us are gods. experience is that i was able to see everything around me above me the whole 360 degree i realized not only i was able to see i was able to feel experience the skin of the stone on rock on which i was sitting and the skin of this body both carry me equally in both I exist equally. Sanda is a place where the tattvas are taught to you, and till it becomes satya, you are supported. Akadas are basically founded by Sada Shiva himself. All is ganas, Shiva ganas. Exactly the word gana means in your length, breadth, depth. If you are filled by Shiva, you are Shiva gana. All the Shiva ganas formed the first akada. Later on, much later, Kapila Muni organizes Mahanirvana akada. Then all other akadas. mahamandaleshwar of mahanirvani akada the oldest apex body of hinduism i welcome every one of you from original agamas yoga pada the signs very clearly declare sada shiva is very clear manifestation of this powers happen when you experience oneness with sada shiva When you 
choose your guru the best thing is find a person who is enlightened experience who can play with energy who can directly transmit experience to you and who is in tune with the original shastras the source of the knowledge all the revealed scriptures available about the yoga directly by sadashiva for you to do research study practice question the people who teach the science of our manifestation is a gift to the humanity which is authentic time tested scientific and full proof diksha or the initiation from his divine holiness nityananda parameshwar makes the science directly an experience for the initiates the experience is directly authenticated by the pramanas the shastra pramanas the eternal unchangeable truth revealed in the source scriptures the veda and agamas the apta pramanas the experience of the rishis munis ganas nayanamars alvars and siddhars who are the authority of hinduism who are who have scientists who time tested and verified the science of our manifestation the atma pramanas are the avatar who land on the planet earth to give a super conscious breakthrough to humanity his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram this millenniums avatar personal experience of pa manifestation shakshi pramanas or the experience of the millions of disciples devotees and followers initiated into the science of pa manifestation by bhagwan himself pratyaksha pramanas or the scientific studies which can be measured measuring the effect of being in the enlightened state powerful cognition from bhagwan saktan living enlightenment series secret science of third eye persistence that can happen only if you are don't get stressed whenever you remember you whenever you remember you if you don't get stressed only you are going to develop will persistence the moment you remember you there should not be any tension in this region that is what i call restful awareness that is a basic vatavarana atmosphere ambience space where third eye can flower it can be brought just by simple declaration and practice whenever you make a will if there is a stress in this area it is will arrogance it is not going to be successful whenever you make a will if there is a restful awareness in this area that is will persistence you are going to be successful i am giving you a physical measurable scale so bringing the restful awareness and the stress free ambience on your forehead the anya chakra this region is a very primary practice i don't i am not saying preliminary understand there is a difference between preliminary and primary when there is a step by step i should say something is preliminary something is secondary when it is all together i can only say primary understand you are not on patanjali yoga you are on sada shiva yoga even one word instead of primary if it is uttered as preliminary over it's a primary component of the yoga especially to awaken the third eye put the banyan leaf remember to bring restful awareness in that region means remembering that region in a very relaxed way light way without being heavy about you and life whenever you become heavy about you and life in this area the heat increases 
and then you get more and more empty ground. <laughs> Stressful remembrance of you will lead only will arrogance. I am not saying everyone who is bald is having this issue. I am saying this is also one of the issues. Listen carefully. Stressful remembrance of you. Whenever you remember you, if there is a stress in that area, that is not going to help you to be successful. Any will you generate, you will not hold on to it. You will give up inside you. Even if it happens outside, you are not responsible for it. It is only accident. Your success may be because somebody failed, not because you succeeded. If you succeed because somebody failed, it can be only accidental success. It may happen once or twice, not more than that. If you are success because you are success only, it can be a repeating phenomena in your life. Repetitive phenomena in your life. For that, the first basic truth you need to do. This region need to be stress-free remembrance of you. If you are able to keep this region in a relaxed, no stress, restful awareness, you will be able to work whole day and night, casually, happily, lovingly, enrichingly, you will be living your life. Because you are living on will persistence, not on will arrogance. I would remember you as a powerful cognition today to remember and be in the restful awareness. Let's go to the shop, Shastra Pramana. The Shastra Pramana for the power of third eye awakening is taken from the Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, Sutra 34, Dharana 11. Kapala antar manon yasya tishthan lochanaha krame namana sodhadhyat lakshaye laksha muttamam Kapalantar manonyasya tishthan milita lochanaha krame namana sodhadhyat lakshaye laksha muttamam Vijnana Bhairava Tantra Sutra 34 Dharna 11 Bhagwan Parmeshiva says by fixing the mind on the inner space within the crown center and sitting stably without any movement, having the eyes closed, in succession, by the stability of the mind and inner space, through the power of third eye, one directly sees the ultimate goal, Lakshyam. By having the vision beyond the sight that reveals any object or place, attaining the space of oneness with the source Parmashiva, Beautifully, Bhagavan explained how the less of us and more of the restful awareness will be manifesting the powers. Applying any the prasada of Mahadeva, sacred ash or the banyan leaf on the third eye will bring a deep restful awareness. Just a couple of days, having the banyan leaf or sacred ash continuously on the forehead Living in the restful awareness will awaken the third eye to manifest as powers. Bhagavan beautifully says about the restful awareness, restful and awareness, how Bhagavan says Paramashanta Swaharupa, the Ahimsa, completely non-violent inside us, the most part we hate is ourself and more it becomes the will arrogance and will attitude and everything that happens. If we understand more to love ourselves, the higher reality of ourselves, which is the consciousness, which is the space of Paramashiva in us, 
and deep gratitude that Paramashiva is manifesting through us simply will make us understand the restfulness to happen and not get entangled with whatever is going on in the outer world, but be in the focus of the inner world where everything is merging into the space of Paramashiva who is manifesting as Parashakti in the outer world. So beautifully Bhagavan describes how the restful awareness, being restful and aware of every moment, every thought, every word, every action that we take to become more and more restful inside continuously, unbrokenly, simply will make us manifest as powers. And here he makes it even simpler that just by applying the sacred ash or the banyan leaf, that will take care of the job. Like we do not have the mind to take care of our breathing or any of the function of our system. The microcosm, how the macrocosm is happening. The microcosm is also having the destruction, the construction, maintenance, liberation, everything in our system in the cell level. But in the mind level, we forget that even all this that is happening in our system is by the nature and by consciousness. And if we understand more that consciousness is doing such complicated function, it can simply make any simple decision also. If it can beat the heart and breathe, even while sleeping, even while anesthesia, it can take care of us making simple decisions in our life. Understanding that consciousness is what is running our life and being in the restful awareness simply will manifest powers. And Bhagavan's grace that he has made it so simple that just by applying the ash or just by keeping the banyan leaf, simply we will start manifesting the higher reality. Bhagavan beautifully says that enlightenment is as simple as a blink of an eye for people who are in Charya Pada. And it's very difficult for people who do not have the Chariya Pada, the lifestyle, living lifestyle, following the morning routine, taking the Haritaki, taking the Panchakriya, doing the Panchakriya, doing the yoga. And all that Bhagavan is giving us will make the Chariya Pada and make it very easy. But people who do not follow and try to do the power manifestation or the enlightenment space, is going to be very difficult. So beautifully he said, less of you and our knowledge and attitude and everything and more of the mind on the inner space to experience the vision beyond the sight and attaining the oneness space with Paramashiva. Let's go to the Apta Pramana. Apta Pramana, Apta Pramana for partition reading here, Kalidasa. Kalidasa was, was a village before he had the grace of Mother Kali. One day at the temple of Mother Kali looked at him and poured all his compassion into him because he was in such an intense to overcome his foolishness. She said, open your mouth and show me your tongue. When he did so, she wrote down on the tongue the mantra, the sacred mantra something most sacred and secret. Immediately, he was endowed by with the gift, divine gift, Kalidasa became very cultured and in, most intelligent. He was able to take part in the partition and difficult logical questions his friendly and give in a friendly manner to the villagers on a regular day-to-day -day people. He was able to speak, write Sanskrit fluently and he started writing and composing poems on Kali. This was part of the Prashanti Nilayam of Prashanti Ahilo Poli Prashanti of 634 AD. And here, Bhagavan. Um, the story of the Atma Pramana. Atma Pramanas are Leelas of Bhagavan. I used to think when Raghupati Yogi gave me the BD, local Indian cigarette, I did not pick up and smoke. That is the why my enlightened got delayed. 
my enlightenment is getting delayed before enlightenment i used to think that is why my enlightenment is getting delayed so i thought i should at least once smoke the that bd and see but good i did not touch somehow just by completing i was able to get rid of it but i did not realize that is going to jump on me so powerful before i started entering into that death process only when i entered into the death process i understood such a simple stupid cute desire was attacking me like a demon and i tell you it took almost 1 hour for me to complete and throw it away let's listen to bhagwan satsang one piece of pizza which you think is cute please understand always with the major desires your intelligence will wake up and say no this will divert me from enlightenment but the small desires eh such cute desire why not have it your whole life even if you are a seeker it is the small desires you don't say no so you have not built the habit of saying no you have not built the defense against a cup of coca cola or a pizza only those small desires which you consider as cute and did not build the defense only they will attack you when you leave the body i tell you during the time of leaving the body the bigger things will never attack you because you would have already built a defense for yourself from them stupidly you would have left on small desire just want to smoke village bd once or want to have a jalebi hot jalebi and kichdi or the bang milk from calcutta all these were were my cute desires which i killed later on <laughs> that is why i am repeating exactly <laughs> which i built defense very strongly and cleared it and got enlightened understand neither sex nor money or name and fame or a greed to rule kingdoms will not come to you during the last moments because about all of them you would have already built a defense for a seeker the last moment distraction will be just cup of thick curd a slice of pizza it will not be anything more i am telling you because only those small things you think it is cute and you can encourage it and you forget to build a defense against them so when you leave the body only they will attack you nothing else nothing else i tell you i have left the body and seen i have died that is why i am telling you what will happen to you when you die krato smara kritagnu smara krato smara kritagnu smara i have done this that is why i am telling you what will happen don't allow even one incompletion without completing it without building a completion wall without completing it i used to think that when raghupati yogi gave me the bd i did not pick up and smoke that's why my enlightenment got delayed 
my enlightenment is getting delayed before enlightenment i used to think that is why my enlightenment is getting delayed so i thought i should at least once smoke that bd and see but good i did not touch somehow just by completing i was able to get rid of it but i did not realize that is going to jump on me so powerfully before i started entering into the death process only when i entered into the death process i understood such a simple stupid cute desire was attacking me like a demon and i tell you it took al almost one hour for me to complete and throw it away I was actually sitting in the Manikarnika Ghat and going through the death process. The death process already started in me. It means two and a half days it was happening in my system. It started. And this one desire just stuck. Fortunately, so many dead bodies were burning. I just put my lip as if I am smoking and just inhaled that smoke and pushed inside the body the pattern died. <laughs> as if i'm smoking the bd i just inhale that smoke the smoke of that dead bodies burning it just disappeared understand i did not have any lust i did not have any name and fame desire i did not have any desire to rule kingdom or i did not have any other desire nothing this stupid bd came because my guru gave i did not take it when you leave the body also you will not be attacked by any problem about which you already built a defense completion or solution only which you have not built a defense or completion or solution that will only create a big mess that is why here the rishis are beautifully saying they are not saying meditate they are not saying uh, contemplate they are not saying think through they are not saying become authentic they are saying remember krato smara kradagun smara by remembrance you have to complete it means you will have to build defense for all the incompletions you have you can't afford to leave even once maybe a desire to have maavadu and curd rice or the whole andhra gongra chutney the whole southern tamil nadu parotta it will all be too small by remembrance you should be able to throw it krato smara kradagna smara manifesting the power of third eye shakshi pramana all over the world they are devotees disciple initiated by bhagwan manifesting the power here we have the balasans doing the partition reading
The Balasan did the partition reading. We will now begin the Pratyaksha Pramana, scientific studies on the avatar. It is important to realize that Sri Nityananda Paramashivam is the only avatar who has agreed to be scientifically evaluated, both in terms of his own body as well as the changes he brings about in other beings. However, it is astonishing to know that his avataric attributes and powers are exactly as defined by the 5,000-year-old Hindu yogic sciences. After extensive observation and study, now it is being tested and proven by modern science also. So now, let us take a look at how the scientific studies present the measuring of effect of being in the enlightenment state through the very imaging brain activity of Bhagwan himself, Jagat Guru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam, whom we lovingly address as Swamiji. Swamiji himself has been subject to scientific studies since year 2004, and over the past decade, enormous amount of data about not only his altered states of neurophysiology, but that of his disciples as well has continued to be recorded. This impressive array of data will be presented systematically now as the Prataksha Pramana. Imaging brain activity. The result of Swamiji's PET scan tests were stunning. The dominant hemisphere of Swamiji's brain was more than 90% shut down. It was as if Swami's brain had packed up and gone on vacation. It was quiet and still, completely at peace, and Swami had made it so at will. The region, which is starting point of the Anya Chakra, or third eye, lower portion of its mesial frontal area, lighted up in a very significant way. When we later asked Swami what he was doing when the mesial frontal lobes lighted up, he said he was opening his third eye. Source taken from Avatar Shastra, Chapter 1, and Introduction, page 47. The third eye is considered to be by many seat of the soul. Were we seeing an indication that deep meditation can open an area of the brain responsible for communicating with the divine? Looking deep into the mysteries of self or creation, the PET scan revealed what Dr. Murali calls the brain's D-spot, standing for delight, the divine, or even dopamine the chemical through which our bodies experience pleasure. Initial indication are that meditation can stimulate it. Dr. R. Murli Krishna, President COO, Integris Mental Health, James Selhall Jr., Center for Mind, Body and Spirit, Oklahoma in US, and his team invited Nityananda to derive scientific evidences for meditation and the state of his enlightenment. Usually the brain is so active, there are 100 billion brain cells there. But what meditation does is something very interesting. It shows the frontal lobes getting more active. The frontal lobe is where you have judgment, wisdom, reasoning. Here are some of the uh, brain scans I'm going to show, share with you. This is alert, non-meditative state. The second one is 30 minutes into 30 minutes meditation. Look at the frontal lobes, how they light it up. They light it up big time. 60 minutes of deep meditation, and here is a deep, deep level of meditation where it lights up significantly right here. Right in the middle. Probably an inch and a half, two inches deeper. From time immemorial, it is believed that great masters are always in the state of bliss 
or casteless happiness they are unconditionally happy with modern sophisticated equipments we are able to detect this truth the dopamine secretion is always abundant in the case of paramahamsa nityananda the d really stands for divine spark the d also stands for delight and the dopamine smile what's also interesting is that you know he could at will go in and out of the state so we asked swami ji when he came from the scanning room when we saw this one we asked swami ji what were you exactly doing when so and so thing happened he didn't know what what was there he did not see the pictures yet he said really interestingly but there were three people there and he said i opened my third eye <laughs> and that's stunning because i learned about third eye as a child in read about for a long time what it is but what he said was you know it's i i asked him to describe more in detail what does he mean by third eye and he said you know it's a deep meditative state it's probably very very deep state but he said you know it looks like a a small petal on one side going and join another side another petal comes and join and join together and then it comes the third eye like a blissful state that you experience when you open third eye so that's really a very very interesting and fascinating finding and we won't talk about it for a long time is the title of this paper does not mean that it is possible to close one's eyes and read a newspaper but it means that a sentence can be read with the eyes closed when that sentence is properly presented to the eyes it also means that a picture can be seen with closed eyes when a properly prepared picture is presented to the eyes this is accomplished by making use of the x-rays to stimulate the retina everyone can have this retina stimulated by x-rays and see the light over 100 observers have been tested and everyone has been able to read letters with closed eyes the method is extremely simple the first essential is that the observer must remain in total darkness for 10 minutes by the time he's able to see light when x-rays strike his retina he may not be able after 10 minutes to see letters but he will after 15 minutes in the dark after 20 minutes he can see and read the letters and see pictures source from reading with eye closed national center for biotechnology information setting up the items for partition reading third eye band books pencil papers nyananjan camera with time stamp let us take few moments to set up the camera download the time stamp click on the video ensure the time stamp is shown on the screen very clearly make sure the camera is facing you and it's very bright and very wide angle the um eye band and the where you're writing writing pad all are seen very clearly on the camera from the time you wear the eye band to the showing that how it you are manifest the powers let the camera be rolling guidelines to manifest the powers turn on the camera apply the nyan engine bring the awareness to third eye wear the eye band in such a way there is no uh, light coming to your eyes have the partition paper between you and the book take any page and start uh, reading through the partition pen down everything the headings that you can see through the third eye when you open your eye band and check the pages that you have marked with a page mark you can verify the details that the headings are correct if you are matching exactly wonderful you have manifested the powers but if you are just getting few things right excellent you started manifesting the powers start celebrating you will start manifesting more powers share your videos with others and listen to others video and you can entangle with them power manifestation instructions let's sit straight the head neck and back in a straight line so that beautifully the kundalini energy raises to the agnya where the manifestation happens usually we are, our, our um, awareness is on muladhara swadishtana and manipuraha where navel center your below navel center here bringing the awareness to your third eye and sitting straight will give us amazing possibility of power manifestation now let's understand few words that bhagwan is repeatedly using shakti pada 
oneness be unclutched initiation so here first we will see in bhagwan's words what is shakti pada let me give an introduction about what is shakti pada process please understand you would have seen or heard about how the chicken sits on the egg and hatches of course in the modern countries this does not happen machine sits on the egg and <laughs> our egg sits on the machine in those days originally when <laughs> hens and chicken were getting produced on the planet earth the hen used to sit on the chicken and hen used to sit on the egg and the <laughs> chicken will come out of the egg see same way sada shiva sitting means the ultimate cosmic energy sitting on the individual soul and making the individual soul into cosmic energy is shakti pada hence sitting on the egg and making the chicken happen same way you may think how come what is going on here that hen is only sitting just by the body heat of the hen and the egg is becoming chicken because no surgery is done and nothing goes inside it's only sitting same way it is just sitting it's only the presence the shakti pada makes the individual soul into cosmic soul beautifully bhagwan explained shakti pada how individual soul becomes cosmic soul and let's listen to initiation see let me explain the initiation initiation is the process beyond your intellectual understanding the transmission of lamp happens now you understood something intellectually there is something which is not understood which can't be transmitted through the words that is transmitted that's what we call initiation sometime i tell you know, people but unless you are initiated the techniques do not create the result the reason is you do not grasp completely whatever is expressed through words initiation is like a it just transmits whatever need to be transmitted beyond logic and beyond words people ask me why to wear this bracelet or this mala and all those things this all will remain you why bracelet in the hand it will remain you before eating did you meditate it's a constant reminders before eating let you be reminded did you do the meditation that is why this bracelet that is why this mala that is why this external things sometime this external things does a big job of reminding you constantly that is why take the help of external things also nothing wrong people ask me why we can uh, just be spiritual without having external things if you can really you are welcome but i don't think anybody who speaks in that way is successful i've never seen people becoming successful avoiding the external things just having internal things and it is just nice way of escaping from yourself beautifully bhagwan explain initiation less listen to be unclutched what is to be unclutched the thoughts every thought is independent illogical unconnected and unclutched because the gap between two thoughts is too small 
the neutral space between the two two thoughts is too small you think all the thoughts are connected and it is in the sharp form it is not by your very nature every thought is independent illogical unconnected and unclutched every between every thought you experience a neutral space when you change the gear whether you go from neutral to one or one to two or two to three or three to four or four to whatever whatever gears may change but every time you have to come to the neutral space only then you can go to the next gear even if you want to go from two to three you have to come to the neutral space only then you can go to three same day between every thought you experience a neutral space you experience a neutral space between every thoughts between every thought that neutral space that silence is what i call peace or bliss the peace which exists the bliss which exists already in you between every thought the gap of the thought the gap between the thoughts that neutral space is the peace is the bliss when you understand you are unconnected independent illogical and unclutched by your very nature you will start experiencing the neutral space in you neutral space which exists in you you will start living from moment to moment in spontaneity we need to understand one more thing this technique of be unclutched it does miracles in your being in the body level or in the mental level or in the being level in every level when you understand the truth by your very nature you are unclutched the tremendous quantum transformation you take a quantum jump the transformation happens in quantum not step by step just on jump you take a quantum jump and experience the truth awakening in you the oneness space is the most beautiful space that bhagwan himself is explaining how we are ferocious beyond the tiredness and boredom we can experience the space of oneness and be unclutched oneness is not imagination oneness is not visualization oneness is not even just declaration it is your existence and an idea which is you is oneness the idea which has become part of your very space which does not tire you or bore you by the passage of the time is oneness mahadeva says in the agama sadashiva beautifully explains in the agama kala yama cannot tire you or bring boredom to you if something becomes your space devi achieved the blissful state and union with mahadeva on shivaratri day because our space became oneness anything which brings tiredness or boredom has not yet become your space if living in this body 
brings you tiredness and boredom. You are not going to be living in this body forever. When that becomes too much, you are going to drop it and move ahead. If you want to be in oneness forever, it should become part of your space. Means you should become ferocious with you and break this very tiredness and boredom. Only when you deal you with the ferociousness, you break the tiredness and boredom. With that ferociousness, you need to make oneness as your space. Anything stands as an imagination in the length level, visualization in the breadth level, declaration in the depth level. If you open your time with ferociousness, it just sinks into space level. With this ferociousness, the time layer in you opens and the oneness from imagination to visualization to declaration, it becomes your space, the way of existence. The most important, Bhagavan says, being unclutched, understanding the Shaktipada, the oneness space, and chanting the Mahavakya. The Mahavakya, the power of the Mahavakya, pushes you into the higher states of consciousness. Here, Bhagavan himself explains how we can experience the Shaktipada, raised higher consciousness through Mahavakya. It's one of the very important revelation by Sadashiva. All the electronic equipments work when the electrons are made to vibrate. That, that happens by the light. When the electricity is supplied, the light particle vibrates, the electronic equipment starts working. Just like that, the spiritual power and the umbilical cord connection, spiritual umbilical cord connection between you and me, it works with sound particle. For example, my integrity with the cosmos, Sadashiva, Maha Sadashiva, it reverberates in certain level of frequency. When you are integrated to me, you also start reverberating in the same frequency. If your integrity goes down, that is when you start connecting with me only as a manager or this organization head or your Purvasham father, mother. Your connection with me goes down to the lower level if the integrity gets reduced. I was wondering what is the way we can bring people to the higher integrity immediately and the feeling connection. So they start manifesting the powers. They start staying in the space of Sadashivatwa. Sadashiva revealed a beautiful sound. I can tell you, this is like a password. At any point, if you are not able to bring yourself to oneness, you are a little shaken, disturbed, or for some reason, you are not able to bring yourself to oneness. This is like a password. You type whether your mind feels connected or not. The energy will start flowing in you beyond the depth dimension. You see, all mind oscillation, restlessness, all mental idea based feeling connected or not feeling connected is only length, breadth, depth level. Not in the space level. But this sound will straight infuse energy from the space level. Like for example, if the power goes off, automatically the generator will get switched on and the power supply will be going on. So end result will not be lost. Whether government power supply or the generator power supply. 
end result will not be stopped so whenever you feel little that one is you are not catching it just feed this password immediately the oneness will open up and you will start manifesting the powers energy and the whole space will shift it is directly from sadashiva it's a beautiful sound i don't even want to say it's a mantra it is not even a mantra because there is no meaning in it you can't derive a meaning for it it just flashed like a password for all the initiations i am giving one single password for all the initiations i am giving and the initiations i gave i am giving i will be giving for all that this is like one password don't even repeat like a mantra just feed like a password and it will just open up your whole being will open up listen carefully it starts with the vibration o listen and then repeat o very deep o nityananda nityananda maha sada shivo so bhagwan gave beautiful explanation of how you can be in shakti pada visualize parameshiva who has come down as bhagwan nityananda parameshivam from kailasha remembering parameshiva in your third eye again and again bringing your awareness to your third eye simply makes you manifest powers absolute unclutching how bhagwan said the neutral zone nothing ever touches the screen like same way the movie does not touch the screen whether it is happening in ferocious or any soft view beautiful nothing touches the screen be unclutched like the screen and to experience the state of parameshiva your inner space being completely unclutched complete completion to experience the space of parameshiva inside us the complete completion happens when we are in tune with parameshiva that everything is redundant and irrelevant the essence of completion is irrelevant nothing matters in your life because everything is complete completion oneness with parameshiva how bhagwan said in ferocious breaking the boredom and tiredness just being in the space of oneness with parameshiva to manifest the powers of parameshiva tyaga as parameshiva is your only strength now declaring complete integrity with bhagwan to experience the being of parameshiva how bhagwan said chanting the maha vakya raises your frequency and that is your only strength to manifest any reality being in this beautiful space of parameshiva you can experience such a beautiful space state powers and becoming the being of parameshiva manifesting whatever you want now you will be manifesting the powers watching the oneness capsule and chanting the maha vakya om nityananda parameshivoham we'll be playing the maha vakya and the oneness capsule for you to manifest powers at end of the maha vakya you can start with the verification and sharing and causing thank you ಪರಮಶಿವಂ 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 
Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour, let the Varni open up, manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third eyes. Om Jnana Paramashivam Om Jnana Paramashivam Om <laughs> Om <laughs> Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour, let the Varni open up, manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third eyes. Om Jnana Paramashivam Om Jnana Paramashivam Om <laughs> Om 
Paramashivam Om Nityananda Paramashivam Paramashivam Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour, let the Vanni open up, manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third Om 
Verification process for partition reading, partition heading reading. No video should be edited. Verify video is not stopped or start. Started during the process. All the videos are verified with the timestamp and wide angle. No peaking should be done with the eye band. There's no make sure there is no light which enters to your eyes. No seeing the pages before you start reading. No hints or clues during man manifestation. Do not use Bluetooth or gadgets while manifestation. If professional by bands are used, wonderful. You will feel more comfortable that no light is entered. Otherwise, you can have some cotton and tie your eyes. Make sure after you manifest the powers, you show the video camera, take pictures of the before and after picture, how the page book and how you have manifested is matching so beautifully. Even if it is very little, it's perfectly fine. Authentically write the heading from the partitioned book seen through your third eye and do not interpret the results in any way. Thank you for manifesting the power of third eye. Beautiful. We are at the end of the power manifestation, but most important part of the power manifestation. Here, we are going to share all that you have manifested with the social media groups. Here we have Sri Kalasha Kotiyar Manifesting Power Groups. Thousands of people are part of that. And you can share there and you can post your powerful cognition and the videos. The link is tinyurl.com slash power manifestation. It is at the left corner of the page. You can click on it and you can post your beautiful experience in the power manifestation group. Why sharing and causing is very important part of power manifestation. Bhagwan beautifully exp explains that sharing is pulling us out of delusion and causing is liberating us. We are the ones who need to start experiencing the higher states of reality, how we need to exist. Beautifully, Bhagwan explains when you are sharing with others the ultimate, beautiful, multidimensional logic. Your brain rewires into the higher space of consciousness, the Turiya Tita state. Again and again, when you experience even a little bit, you share with the world, your experience becomes reality. Same thing when you cause others to come and get initiated for higher reality, you are caused into the higher purpose, the ultimate reality. Bhagwan says extreme causing, extreme power manifestation is extreme causing. So beautifully, he explains how we, our strength is declared on Paramashiva. The power manifestation happens exactly in tune to that. And sharing with the world, continuously reiterating ourselves, the experience that we had from the powerful cognition and manifesting the space of Paramashiva, the state of Paramashiva, the beings of Paramashiva, we become Paramashiva. Go on sharing and causing which is the most important part of how you have experienced your reality. When you go to a temple, we pray and we see that beautiful experience happen in us and then share with the world that how amazing the temple experience has manifested as your reality. Same way, when you manifest powers, when you share with the world, it becomes more and more the depth cognition of you and you will be experiencing more powers. Even if you're manifested very small, it does not matter the quantity, Bhagavan says. The quality is important. If it is authentic, please go ahead and share with the world. Do not doubt, have self-doubt, self-denial, self-hatred, come and block anything. Experience the ultimate in deep seeking and gratitude. Bhagavan manifest in you with a deep prayer that asking Bhagavan to make this reality as your existential reality. With that, let's end with the Purna Mantra. Thanking Bhagwan for all these great experience. We have come to the end of the Power Manifestation course and we end with the Purna Mantra. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamadashyate 
ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯೂರ್ಣಮಾ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ ಸತ್ ಸರ್ವಂ ಭಗವತೆ ಶ್ರೀ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪಾದುಕ ಅರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತು ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೋ ಹೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪವರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವೋಹಂ